When it comes to growth stocks like NVIDIA, you can have a growing business, a rising price, and a price that is getting ahead of that growing business. Let's look at the charts. We have here NVIDIA, and this might be an important week because some are saying there's rejection around that 900 to 1,000 level. If that's the case, maybe momentum traders, people who buy because other people are buying, they might be taking profits. If they take profits, the guys who will step in to support the stock will be the value buyers, the people who want the business and want to own the business for a long time. Now, sometimes there's a gap between the momentum traders and the value buyers, and that could be a problem for anybody trading or investing in NVIDIA. Here I have some fundamental data. This is the data that the value investors will be looking at. If we look at price to sales, historically, and I'm zooming out quite a bit, when it's down in the dumps, it's been two times sales or two times revenue. And in 2007, when it topped out, it was six times revenue. Well, right now, we are trading at 35 times revenue. So there is a lot of optimism, a lot of growth being priced in into NVIDIA. Now, the revenue has increased, but it hasn't increased at the same magnitude that the stock has. The revenue has gone from something like almost 6 billion to 22 billion per quarter. But the stock has gone from 100 something to as high as 900 something. So that's nine times versus three times. Is the revenue really gonna keep up with the price action? That's the question any trader and investor has to think about when it comes to NVIDIA. If we look at Tesla, there's a good lesson there. Tesla had a lot of growth anticipated and then it cooled off for, for some reason. Revenue never stopped growing, it kept rising. If we look at revenue from 2020 and on, it's kept going up, so that's great for the business. However, the price to sales went from, at, at its peak, 31, 32 times revenue, 32 times sales, and it's cooled off. Now, why is that? It's because the optimism multiple compressed, and as it grew in, Investors repriced the whole business. The stock is down from 410 and it went down to 106. Why is that? If the revenue has been growing, why did the price come down? It's because reality set in and this went from a momentum trade to a value trade. You have to be very careful when you're trading momentum stocks because price discovery means we're going to find out what it's really worth eventually. When the trade, the, the trend is up, it doesn't really matter until the, the trend changes and then it does matter. So when everybody gets stopped out, the value investors are the ones that pick up the stock. So very important to understand the business. And if you're not gonna do the work on the business, just have a stop and know that eventually the party will be over and the real investors are the ones that are going to support a stock because they want to own the actual business, not just trade all those green bars. Let me know what you think in the comments.